Welcome to our case tutorial series, where we show you the ins and outs of our powerful test management software. In this video, we'll walk through the process of creating and organizing test suites. Test suites serve as containers for a group of test cases, much like a folder based on domains or testing areas. They are organized to be executed systematically to ensure the software behaves as expected. For example, a mobile game project will need separate test suites for background music, user interface, performance, and save features. Starting with a blank project, you can click on the Plus Suite button or the Create New Suite button. Upon clicking, a pop-up will appear prompting you to update the suite information. You can fill out the suite name as descriptive as you like, and this one is mandatory while the rest of the fields are optional. Here's a quick tip. You can create a suite with just the name and then opt to fill out the other fields at a later stage. The parent suite is where you make this suite a part of this higher level parent suite. The description is where you provide context and further details on what test cases belong to this suite. The preconditions describe the steps that should be completed before proceeding with the test cases in the suite. After creating these test suites, your repository will reflect the structure and relationships. When you hover over a test suite, it will reveal its controls. The Collapse and Expand will allow you to show or hide the suite. The Create Case or Create Suite button will allow you to add the cases or suites. The Edit Suite is a pencil icon to modify its details. The Clone Suite is for you to duplicate the suite within the same project or to another project and also allow you to select the parent suite, the clone strategy, the prefix, and you can also choose to clone the suite with its children, either child suites and test cases. The delete suite option is for you to remove the suite. Please take note that once you've deleted the suite, you will no longer be able to restore this suite from the trash bin and will have to create it from scratch. To navigate around your suite structure easily, there are three suite tree layouts available, which you can toggle between using the Views drop-down button. The default layout, which is the nested tree view, shows you all of the suites that you have in your project, and you can open it up on the sidebar to navigate from one suite to another. The Folders view will only show the test suite and test cases that you select and it's in focus. So if you want to go to a different suite, you'll have to select it from the sidebar. This layout is a better solution for those with a massive repository and a more complex structure. The Mind Map view is in beta mode and it displays all the suites and test cases within the project in the form of a mind map. It provides you the option to create quick cases or suites by clicking on the plus icon. You can also alter the hierarchy of display by dragging the suite up or down or moving a test case from one suite to another. Additionally, clicking on the case will allow you to update its title. Another thing that you can do on the left sidebar is to click on the three dot menu, which would show you the options to edit, clone, select, or unselect all test cases, create suite, create case, and delete. These are applicable for the nested tree view and the folders view. If you're new to case or want a better understanding of its features, our monthly product webinar has two time slots you can choose between. Additionally, to stay updated on our new tutorials and best practices videos, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and happy testing.